Buma Seve. Kore, I am at a loss for words. Before I greet you guys, Oti King, Murimo Arabi Tapelo Zaron. Murimo Arabi Tapelo Zaron. Kulave Kamali for real, for real, for real. <laughs> I am in the Mercedes Benz S Class S350D. And my golly gosh, there's so much I need to tell you. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are good. And like I said earlier, we are in the S Class S350D. I have so much to tell you. Look, this is probably one of the most striking cars you can ever find. The presence is unmatched. Everything is. It's just so luxurious that I can't even describe it. I can't even put it in words. I don't know how I'm going to get this review done because I am just like, Woo! Wee! Goeie genade! My machtig! It is everything, you know? So let's start with the exterior. Let's start with the front. I mean, it is just so executive looking. It is a full-size luxury sedan. You know, it is. It has this. I think it's. It, it feels like a bit of a long wheelbase kind of vehicle. You know, the side profile is very long, very large headlamps. The grille is also very large and imposing. And you still have that protruding badge. Yeah, when my father was rich, so that badge just stands out on the bonnet there. Just gives it that executive, that very luxurious and very beautiful look. You know, you have these large 20-inch wheels that look absolutely stunning with the black rim. And I can't fault it. This gold bronzish kind of color that it's finished in works very well with this white interior. And look, on the outside, it is a beautiful, beautiful vehicle. I love the rear lights. The rear lights are very sleeked out. You know, looks very different from a lot of the sedans in the Mercedes class. Uh, Mercedes class. Score. The Mercedes Benz um, range. It looks very different from the C-Class and an E-Class. You know, it has a very prominent presence. And I think on the exterior, they did absolutely well. Moving on to the interior, I think you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of white interiors or white roof linings uh, for that fact. Um, it's because in everyday cars, you know, you move in and out of them so quickly that when you touch on all the upholstery and stuff like that, you are bound to get stuff dirty. Oh, the sun is doing its thing. Yeah? You're bound to get stuff dirty. You're bound to have all your the marks and whatever, whatever. But for an executive vehicle like this, it works because the customer or the person that's buying this car is not necessarily hauling it themselves. They are not driving it. They are usually enjoying that vehicle um, from the rear, uh, the rear passenger seat, from the back. So they're literally sitting in the back reclining, you know, attending meetings, whatever. That's probably the most um, stereotypical customer of an S-Class. You know, it's a very executive, very diplomatic kind of vehicle. I mean, even I was a bit upset that I'm driving this thing myself. I should be in the back of the seat. You know, that's literally what the car is like. So, you know, if you are watching this and you are a head of state or you are a minister or a diplomat, you know, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you if this car is the one you should have in your fleet. <laughs> but it's, it's so luxurious on the interior. This white interior just brings a lot of light in, you know, that there's only a tint on this unit. There's a tint at the rear. So you can't see the rear passengers, but you can see me because it's a bit of a fish tank. So you see me in 4K, 1080 pixel, like you can see me as clear as day. You can probably see what I've had for breakfast because it is so open and so clear. You have a double sunroof in here. You have a 48 speaker Burmeister sound system, right? You have so much in here. You also have the Mbux um, infotainment system. You have a digital cluster that is uh, that also has a 3D functionality. Um, so you can actually change the digital, ah, the digital, the digital cluster for it to be a 3d or the normal uh, a view and you have a plethora of cup holders connectivity usb ports in the rear you have a space where you can heat up your drink or cool it down so it's absolutely it's a yacht on wheels it's an absolute yacht on wheels how should they get next when i was at my sister and her husband's house uh, a few days back um literally she got into it she's like yo kim peto kamo like it's so luxurious and i was like yeah no it's so comfortable it's so so comfortable on the interior you have electric seats you have memory seats look the list goes on and on and on if and i if i were to go on about the features in this in this car 
we would be here until kingdom come you know you have visors at the back you know so you can make sure that if you don't want to see outsiders people shouldn't see you you have visors on the rear you even have visors on the rear window um at the at the back and yo the boot space is also very decent considering the size of the car uh, boot space was quite decent uh, i had to drop off my mom at school she was going on a trip and she took um, a few of her colleagues with her and all their luggage you know women pack like we don't pack light so everything fits in there they just sat with their handbags in the car so in terms of the interior it is absolutely phenomenal like really really great so now let's get into the drive of the vehicle the mercedes-benz s-class s350d is powered by a 2.9 liter turbo diesel engine so this is the diesel variant that produces 210 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque so when you just put your foot down that diesel grunt is there it's it's it's, it's so comfortable to drive it's not that diesel that makes a lot of noise you know so it's very very uh, pleasurable to drive and it's very frugal guys it's probably one of the like when it comes to mercedes-benz whenever i test the mercedes-benz my bank card yeah chila because the diesels are absolutely phenomenal like diesel the yeah, mercedes uh, number one number one get diesel IG petrol at all it's absolutely absolutely stunning so when i when i got it with like when i got it um the full tank range was about 600 k's and i was just like uh, okay cool i have done 780 kilometers this past week i even drove from pretoria north all the way to flipping the south near lanasia or kanagega in dawel lanasia alberton brackenfell the south of johannesburg and i'm still okay it is quite low i mean i'm left with 137 kilometers of range but it's leaving very soon so this thing if you drive very well it could yield you almost 800 k's so it's absolutely stunning on diesel and i'm doing 8.4 liters per 100 k's and i think that it's, it's you know the returns on this car are really really commendable i think it's 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 perfect for a daily that's why i say the person who buys this car obviously has a driver and this per, the, per, the customer i'm imagining just trying to just give you on the top of my head is the person that probably drives around a whole lot it's the person that probably goes from meeting to meeting or place to place you know pillar to post the person who's driving around a lot and wants something that's comfortable yet super luxurious and i think this is the the sweet spot you know because you can obviously go up there is obviously the s500 obviously the s65 where you have the maybach i don't know if maybach still retails like the maybach spec if it retails still in south africa but this is and then the s500 obviously is probably the more performancey kind of one you know a lot more bells and whistles um but this is actually for me the sweet spot you know i'm you guys know me i'm a sucker for frugal cars i'm a sucker for this i think i need to spend that i need to spend that six thousand i don't want to do that so this is really a very economical car and i think it's 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 it's, it's stunning i mean i have a pillow here guys i have like cooled seats and i have heated seats what i've just been having the time of my life this week in this car, I'm gonna get like the joke. joy, smarties. I've been like this the whole week. <laughs> like, how could I live it? How could I? I yalla veka mal. Yeah, yo, yeah, yalla veka. So, what does Riba think of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class? Look, I think this is probably one of the most the car a car with probably the most road presence currently outside of the. BMW 7 Series. So we'll get into that a bit uh, later. On the interior, you have this wooden vibe going on around the dash. You know, everything is just so crazy. I mean, in, even in the rear, there's a little um, Samsung tablet that is has M bucks connectivity. So when you're sitting at the back, you can maneuver what's happening in this display, this uh, center console in front you can change your ambient lighting from that little ipad you know you have so much storage space in this car you have pillows like guys no like it's crazy it's it's an experience and i think that's what bm uh, mercedes-benz has over bmw they give you an experience bmw gives you luxurious cars but it's just like Jotwara over sharp but it's luxury the uh, mercedes gives you an experience 
take the seat class also just take the seat class it's a party in there ambient lighting almost everywhere it's an experience when you buy into their product um you're not just buying a luxurious car you're buying an experience you know they're selling you an experience so it's 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 something that i can't even fault them on the s class there's little to fault it on even the way it drives it's comfortable doesn't feel laden doesn't feel big or crazy oh my gosh why am i being stopped by cops ah oh, guys and again, and he just stops me so late. Okay, we will be back. We'll be back. So yeah, I think it's a absolutely beautiful car. It is, guys. Like I said, Mercedes Benz sells you an experience. They don't really sell you just a product, man. They sell you an experience, like fully, fully an experience. Um, and this vehicle is priced at 2.4 million rand, just under 2.5 million rand. And obviously, you can spec the AMG uh, kit and all get all, all these niceties. You get the steering wheel, this multifunction, uh, multi-spoke steering wheel. Um, so you get quite a lot. And I think that spec, when I did it on the configurator, was about 2.5 million in total. And I think for that price, you're getting enough. You're getting enough. You're getting everything you need. In this vehicle obviously you can go up to the s500 or whatever whatever but i think this is absolutely fine you can live with this if you are the target market and need this right um and then bringing in the 7 series the 7 series for me i think tech wise is probably eons ahead because everything i've read about the 7 series be it the i7 or the 740 li has been just yo people have just been going crazy over the tech and the stance and i've seen it on the road and i'm like that has presence the 7 Series has crazy, crazy road presence. But this one is also because Benz is Benz. Benz is like a Benz and Benz is a Benz. It has a Benz to look. Benz is a Benz, guys. Especially Mom Zanzi. Benz is a Benz. So it will always have that presence. It will always have that reputation. It will always be that car, you know. Mercedes will always be that car, especially in the country. It will always be the pinnacle. And it will always have that 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 love from a lot of um, South Africans. Um... So I think this, this S-Class is great. So ultimately for me, I think that the S-Class is the epitome of luxury. It is the pinnacle of luxury. It is opulence. It is stunning. It is, you know, it's extravagant. It's a bit obnoxious, but the obnoxiousness works for this. You know, the pricing is absolutely amazing. 2.5 million Rand, I think it's fine. I can't fault that pricing because you're getting so much. You're getting a yacht on wheels. You're getting so much tech. You're getting so a great fuel economy it's just something that is absolutely stunning you know it's a perfect package it's a perfect luxurious package and i think it's aimed at people that really have the ability or have the means to have drivers uh people who have uh money to have people uh, drive them around and this is the perfect car obviously for long distance i think you'll enjoy it a lot more but even short bursts in the city you'll be fine it's not tedious to park space is great you know it's absolutely stunning albeit it's a four-seater maybe when i let your baby your baby if you are doing that kind of thing but it's absolutely stunning so for me i have to confidently say that the mercedes-benz s-class is one of the best vehicles i have tested in my entire career and to think that i was adverse on booking it i was just like oh, guys it's so obnoxious what am i going to do with it with it with it and I still think it's obnoxious, but it's an okay obnoxiousness. Like, I can live with it, okay? It's least I'm not on a veil, like, it grabs attention, but, I mean, it's, it's okay. You can actually live with it. Um, quite sad that this whole week I didn't really experience it sitting in the bag and being driven around. I was hauling it myself, but such is life, man. Such is absolute life. Um, but, yeah. So, let me know in the comments what would you get with 2.5 million. Would you get this S-Class? Would you get a 7 Series? What are you buying for that kind of money? And let me know, are you actually, I also want to know from you guys, would you spec it with this white interior? Do you guys like this? Do you guys like this open, you know, greenhouse vibe? Do you like, you know, these bright interiors? Um, because I, I know a lot of South Africans are big on darker interiors. Um, but let me know if you'd spec it in this. And also, lastly, comment down below, what are you get what would you get this car for would it be your daily or would it be the long haul one would you get a driver you know let's just have a conversation in the comments so yeah and that is it from me Buma Seve. thank you so much i love you guys so much for real for real 
Re great lady driver, but I drive it every day. Mm. But thank you guys so much for the support and the love. Uh, like I said, comment down below. What are you getting? This S class? Let me know. Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>